your brain will naturally start functioning. You know, all the discipline from nowhere will start appearing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys understand me. Like, <laughs> with me, with me, like, um, did somebody say experience counts? Of course, like, you know, agency and experience, they are like one thing. Right? Like, that were drawing me back. You understand me? Because, like, I, I couldn't just afford to, to, like, be, let's say, at the age of 30 and not be what I wanted to be, which is, like, what I am now. I, I don't know. I would have really felt disappointed in myself. You know? I would have, I would have really been broken down. So is that, that drive, is that drive, it's like that, that energy, it's like that zeal, you know, that fire that burns in you, that literally lets you chase after what you rightfully deserve. Again, legally, you know. So that's just, that's just what it was with me, you know that i needed to turn out good by hook or crook i needed to freaking turn out good and then since i sold my life to trading then there wasn't any turning back it was trading or nothing you know it was it was forex or nothing like i was aggressive i was like a lion i was like a beast i was like i was freaking mad bro i i was lanky you, you don't want to see my old pictures. You don't want to, you don't want to see. These days I don't post them. My wife is laughing at me. You, you don't want to see, you don't want to see how I was looking. I was hungry. Look at even the, the picture that I posted on, 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 um, on Instagram. That's even, that's even 2019 one. So imagine 2018 one, right? This one, I posted this one, right? Did you guys see it? You see this one? If you've not seen it, look at it, right? This was me grinding. Focusing on my dreams in the year 20, what? What year is this one? 2019, they did not write a year, but they wrote this one. This is, this is my trading setup. My trading setup was very popular back in the days. If my trading setup posts you, it's like you reach for the Forex industry inside. Yeah. Yeah. In the garden times, yeah. if my trading setup posts you, pa. Yes, when what people set up. I swear. I was the only black. Black man them pick. Those times. 2018, who? who? There was not. You understand me? Yes. The machine together and stuff like that. You know? Those dual call. 20, 2018. You know, June, June thereabout. Yeah, as them post me, I was, I was feeling proud. I knew that. Bro. But this was my small room. Look at the corner. Look at my books there. This was the, the beginning of the pile up of the, the book journey. You understand me? But look at my two screens, grinding hard, right? Let me see some of the comments. <laughs> I never really watched the comments. All these things, they used to have, like, out-of-scope comments because they were foreigners, you know? But, like, yeah, if, you yeah, go, yeah. if you go on the scam, page, yeah, a lot of scam, a lot of scam. If you go on this page, you're going to see, like, um, you're going to see that all the people there were foreigners, like, with huge, huge you know, trading screens and stuff like that. And then imagine, like, look at it. Like, just you look at it. See how it's going to motivate you. Every one of them had, like, you know, incredible screens with, like, you know, huge capital, and they're doing insane stuff. You read about their individual bio, their managers of this, their big this of this, you know? And then me, one young man from his corner, they posted me there. I felt so, you know... So, so what? Elevated. So, achieved, achieved, you know? But yeah. You good? How was your relationship like when you were still struggling? No. <laughs> yeah, I 
honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. My mindset was was one song, right? Let me play that song for you. <laughs> Let me play that song. And if you're a trader, that's until you become successful, that let that song, your, that should song, be your, yeah. your song. Wait, what's your song? Love is sweet, oh. Look, love is sweet, oh. I'm playing that song for you. Pepe, until Pepe. you become a, until you become successful, let this song be, let this song be your song as a trader. <laughs> you know the song. You know this song. Eric is a small boy. That is from the OG, you know, no, still. Oh, you're not letting them hear the lyrics. Let's come back. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. I will consider when I'm older. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like, that's a simple message. You got it? If you didn't get it, forget about it. <laughs> and as a struggling trader, you got you to gotta be by yourself. You know, you will know, cry. Because, because, because... Your money is not even up to you. You know, your money is not okay. su sufficient enough for you yourself alone. <laughs> I don't know, okay. You, you, you cry. You know what I did, boy. He said, I'm with you, but I'm not yours. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a process. It's a process in this journey, you know. Like, at that point, Number one, you see, your priority will be so driven to the chat that women will be distracting you. Let's go out. You're not giving me this attention. You're not, the, you're not ready, bro. You're like, you're not ready. You know, too much. They'll, they'll frustrate you in that period. I'm being honest with you. They will frustrate you. Like, you, you genuinely want to. It's Friday night. Everybody wants to go to the Bloom Bar and then this thing. But you want to now sit back and start your chat markup. And then they're like, you're not calling me. Why are you not texting me? Bro, my mind is freaking hot. Me, they lost my soy shit. My dream, my dream, my dream, my shit. You know, it's like Wednesday. You've been by the chat for the whole week. You're not even paying attention. And you'd be like, why have you not texted me? You've not called me in the last two days. Are you serious at all? Are you a serious? Bro, I don't need that energy. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's, it's tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you're a young man you're in that boys. space, I'm I'm really talking to the boys. Yeah. If they don't understand, it's their problem. I mean, you know, not everybody can be saved. No, everybody can be saved. Not everybody can be saved. But that's the reality. That is that that is that reality. Or dating or so so. So so My daughter, 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 daughter. Phenomenal advice. Phenomenal, phenomenal advice. Take my phenomenal advice. But yeah, you know, I'm serious. Like, at that point, you don't need anybody to dampen your energy. You know, you don't need anybody to, like, you know, talk you down and frustrate you with unnecessary stuff and then draw you your energy back. So, it's the same with the boys as well. You know, if you're a girl and then you're doing this, you're, you're, you're pursuing the, the journey of trading, you, 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 it's a tough one, you know. But there's, an, there's a downside to it, too. That one, we'll talk about it in the private mentorship. <laughs> you still go and listen to you still go and listen to it. I will not say anything. 
Congina bastard. <laughs> Let's take it like that. You know what we call dry season. If you catch you, uh... <laughs> see this one. They relate. It's not dry season. Go, you go go find water hose them pump or water no go come. You go do irrigation self. Water. You go drill, drill the earth inside self. Water no go come. Dry season catch you. Uh... You understand the I'm with you, I'm not yours. <laughs> now. Oh my god, go hear remix. <laughs> no, sometimes you need comfort, you know. With the loss, uh, you need comfort. You need you need some some shoulders to put your head on. You need some natural pillows. Experience a couple of natural pillows. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so you have to keep it balanced. You know, you really want to make sure that you keep it. You keep it balanced. You don't want to be like. <laughs> you don't want to be like too. This, this, this. You know, keep it in between. <laughs> You want to keep it in between. If you don't keep it in between, your life won't be bad. Like, hey, you excite fast. <laughs> bad man. Bad man. Bad man knowing topical. I'm not But yeah. So, oh no, yeah. You, you always got you, you always got to keep it balanced. You know, you, you cannot always say, hey, don't come to me, I'm avoiding you. You know, also don't want to say like I'm committed and this and that and that. You know. Which of our friends is committed? Hmm? Which of our brothers is has been sold? Ah you know him. Young man. A very young man. I don't know about that. I'm not talking about anybody. <laughs> Talking about Abrabo Kojo. But yeah, you don't you you you, you totally don't. But it's good, you know. Yeah, yeah it's like it's not good thing. Hey, hey, my wife dear, she's my wife dear, she's plain plain one. Don't lie to anybody. Terry, Terry, decode the message already. They love Terry be bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, we miss you. Come home. Today's Sunday. Come and enjoy with us. Hey, you did church. Oh, I forget that. Senior controller, that. Senior controller. How's somebody's asking me a very important question? How's your marriage life versus single life? You see, I, I genuinely, I'm going to give this advice here, and I, I really feel like any young man should really take it seriously, right? Extremely seriously. Like, you don't want to entangle yourself with marriage when you're not genuinely ready, you know? Like, it's not as if, okay, marriage is a difficult thing. I'm talking about the mindset thing. Because, because naturally, you're going to deprive yourself from certain things. And, it, and it's not as if nobody's allowing you to do that, you know? Like, the new reality, new phase, does not naturally permit that, you know? Like, it's, it, it's something that comes uh, unknowingly, you know? Like the way I'd normally like hang out with my boys and go to the club and driving and making noise and popping bottles and stuff like that. I don't think I can do that now, you know. I can if I want to, but is it befitting? Is it like, is it reasonable in that space, in that time, you know? It's not necessarily like that perfect. I can hang out with my wife, you know. We go chill, we go have a few drinks. But it's not going to be like on that type of a level when I was like a single man, you know? Like, single man, you go to the club, a, a lady is passing, big bundles, you're gonna chit chat with your, uh, they, they like them too, so. <laughs> Big bundles. You're gonna chit chat with your guys, ah, look at this, Charlie, hey, Charlie, make you do all the this, this. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you're married. Are you going to go to the club and see all those and then drink and sit down and just be, bro, then play music in your freaking goddamn. Because you can also go there and be flirting and then, you know, be as if it's certain, you know, like. You say that, that's kids when they say Ma married men in the club with it. But that's just one aspect of it, right? That's just one aspect of it. The other aspect is that, the other aspect is that, like, like, um, you're going to be too family inclined. So, so if you had a serious boy's boy's life, you know, me, I knew where I was going very early. So I did my best in, especially in my 26, 27, to extremely cut down on like that circle, you know, especially boys in their 24. All they know is like boys, boys, like gang of five, 10, 15 boys. They like, they roll together, they chill, they do every, literally everything together but when shit gets serious you know like they, they don't matter so i started dropping all those things like very early on with myself you know but before i did that i made sure to freaking enjoy my life that one don't play bro me i'm a very satisfied man in life <laughs> he said it's like Memories are coming. Baby, 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 it's not your type of decoding, you know. Please, there's hey. satisfaction I'm talking about. It. It's, it's, I ate a lot of. I'm throwing shine, shine on it, eh? Don't decode me wrongly. <laughs> Don't decode me wrongly here. But yeah, you know, like. <laughs> you have to. You have to, you know, keep your life balanced. very balanced. Like, travel with your friends. Travel with your friends. Because if you get married, you cannot travel with them as much. You know. Like, do all, do all you gotta do, you know. Do all you gotta do. Like me, you know, you guys know me and, you guys know me and Joe Trader, but, you know, like, bro, <laughs> we did the most. You know, <laughs> now now he jump up to the US. It's been a while we spoke anyway. Tried reaching him, couldn't get through to him for a while. He got back, but we've not really had time to speak as much. But yeah, we we would we would normally me Komonjo would normally even like in the earliest part of my engagement, not the married part, right? The engagement, right? Three of us would literally go on a road trip, right? We'd go to Cape Coast, we'd drive to Takrade, we'd drive to like, you know, we'd literally drive out of the capital city of Ghana, out of the capital region, right? And then go spend like two days, three days, you know, just boys, boys, and still enjoying our life, still. But I knew that like that time was coming, that time was coming, but now, you know, responsibilities have changed. I'm a family man, you know. I grew too fast. So. It is what it is. Rick, you have to look for your friend. <laughs> Johnny, no friend. Really? Rick, Rick, Rick. Oh. Hmm? Okay, sorry, have you seen, have you seen a wife should be, before? Your wife should be. Hey, this. You the way this. Kosia is talking. It looks like you're a very experienced. Experienced person. He was a bad boy. I I, I, I was a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Definitely. <laughs> we are here to enjoy life. <laughs> hey, can you show some of your bad experiences? <laughs> Rick. Rick. <laughs> Fuck you. Swalela is a. Hey, Rick. They say they go link you to somebody in Sisto for a year. <gasps> eh? Ricky. They're getting lucky. <laughs> Are they right for you or oh, Ricky? You're getting lucky. Hmm? <laughs> hey, Rick, what did they give you in sister? You know, like, hey, Rick, you like, you're eh? Don't make it look like you're a Ghana, you know, 
Well, I would even if you can serve your mind there. Rick, any abon, she's in London. <laughs> Rick, yeah, they've arranged a wife for you. Oh, really? <laughs> Which day you go braid your hair? Let's oh, I did that in the past. I did that in the past. Hey, Rick, they say, oh, you're not ready to grow up. Hey, Charlie, then they hey. throw challenge at you. <laughs> hey, talk. I'm, 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 you are flagabasted. I'm flagabasted. <laughs> oh, you... Uh, I'm old. I, I'm grown up already, so wait. Let 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 her the details. <laughs> <laughs> Could you swim break your teeth? No, my teeth, eh? Uh, hey, God broke my teeth. Chocolate, hot, frozen chocolate. I put chocolate in my fridge, right? So because of that, I stopped doing so many stuff. That's when I, that's where growth started dawning on me. I could have fixed it, but I've just I've just not had that. Well, I say time. I'm very lazy when it comes to so many things. You, you'll be surprised the type of things I'm lazy. Number one thing is even my hair. I'm freaking lazy when it comes to like, keeping my hair. My hair, like, Rick, every week, every three days, we could try Not me. <laughs> me, one year. You know, even get me in the barbering saloon. But I was eating chocolate. It was very hard. Crazily hard. I was forcing it out. And then it broke my teeth. Why are you talking about the Rick. What is it? Says, ah, I mean, you know we come from Africa, bro. Oh, hair is like Not about culture. Hair. You know, some, some <laughs> things that most people forget is that, like, I'm, I'm well-traveled. And I'm in relocating here in India. Probably. Because if I'm probably living in, you know, the UK for, like, you know, Rasta, a Rasta I mean, it's normal, you know. <laughs> my, my, my wife's brother. That's my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is a tech guru, right? <laughs> Like, he was the most pastorious young man I've seen. I hope he's not on the live listening to me. I don't think so. You know, he, he was the most, you know, like, proper man with shirts you wear. He, he sweats. You know, brother, I only saw him in sweat. <laughs> with his round hair like yours. <laughs> then he, he went to further his studies in, the, in, in Germany, right? Ah, went to further. Bro, Rick, you can't see him. Oh, you don't see about him, bro. Ah, where was he? He was supposed to be here. Or oh, maybe he did not realize that he was in. The man did some the man did come way do the day he mommy come some here. some That's another man did come way do fasa fasa heavy. Some man comes so out. Came oh Rick. Hey, Rick. Rick, really? Rick I'm surprised. Because... Stop playing way. <laughs> oh, what about we talk? Oh, okay. yes, sir, right. over up. <laughs> she just had to accept the reality and move on. That, you see, we come from a culture where everybody's like, hey, don't shit, don't shit, don't That's like even the other day, last day, like, one nigga, I said, As Chuck says, experience it all. Me, I braided my hair. I used to braid my hair. Don't you remember all those times? I used to have piercings. Let him experience it all. I don't like tattoos. I don't like pierces and all those stuff. But, like, when it comes to things that are temporary, yeah. right, things that I can literally, like, yes. let it vanish, reset it, I don't mind. I mean, you get me? I can always like cut my hair. I can always unbraid my hair. But you know, reverse. tattoo, I cannot like reverse it. Piercing, I'd not be able to. Um, and then more so, like, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm in an industry of a professional standard, you know. Yes, I'm not like uh, a chartered accountant yet, right? But obviously, in the future, I could charter, I could even pursue my, my law ambitions, which is somewhere in the, in the mix. I could do my CFA. So many things that. Now, I'm not ready for now because I'm still, like, you know, making money. But in those, in those levels, yeah, nobody really judges you then regardless, you know, especially if you're, if you're doing those things abroad. But here, it's, uh, we, we've not got to that social evolution yet where people find it normal, right? The day you felt like a drug lord for 24 hours. <laughs> Yeah, I braided my hair. Mm. You feel like what? That's what somebody's saying in the uh, comments. Where is your, where is your girlfriend? Hey, 
Charlie, Thank people you. underestimate me, pal. My, my girlfriend. Like <laughs> my wife, I'm married. I left my ring upstairs, though, and I've showed you. <laughs> 